Hello everyone, my name is Butter Tongsley and welcome back to after a long while of a break due to focusing on other past games to another wonderful episode of Genshin <sighs> Impact where we last left off. Uh we were given visits by the messengers from Nin Guang and her floating temple place, which I can't see from here, but I know it's somewhere over there. And, uh, Paimon wants us to get some things to, uh, use as ingredients for some odd recipe. And I'm kind of concerned on that recipe, but hey, we're gonna do it anyway, and we're going to get this recipe, and we're gonna see what happens. It looks like it's not that far, it's literally just down this hill. Which, I'm actually glad. I mean, I'm glad it's not that far. Kind of wish gliding was a little bit faster. Because this feels a little sluggish. But I mean, the good thing is if we're high enough, we traverse a lot of, like, terrain. <coughs> Dunyu Ruins. Ooh, look at that slime. Ah. It looks crystal clear and very delicious. That's the one. Okay, a lot of annoying enemies, mainly these bugs. Quick! Didn't mean to use my quake, but hey, I got it. I forgot how to lock on the enemies. It's been a little bit since I've played this. Yeah, get vaporized. Got rid of that. It looks like we gotta go across. Hate those things. Huh? Is it just Paimon? <clears throat> or is there a sweet fragrance in the air? Maybe it's one of your ingredients. Huh? Did you hear that? I mean, I didn't hear anyone. Yeah, no, I didn't hear anyone. Uh, I'm gonna take a guess someone was singing? Uh, no! That was definitely someone in trouble. It came from those ruins over there. Uh-oh. It looks like the treasure hoarders have locked someone inside. I guess that means we must save them. Ta-ta-da! I just realized also I don't have a healer. This could end badly if I'm not careful. Don't know how you missed me. I'm glad you did. Two three flowers. Becomes the hunted. I shall. Oh. Oh. You're open. I wasn't that open. You're open. No, I'm not. I'm not open. Come on closer. Feel the beat. Oh, wrong one. Time for takeoff. <laughs> How did that not work? Oh, there we go. <sighs> Thank you for your help, kind travelers. If you hadn't come to my aid, I surely would have rotted in this cell. Those treasure hoarders. When their mood was good, they'd rearrange those pots of sweet flowers. When they were in a bad mood, they'd rearrange my face. Mm. Aw, it was nothing. No need to thank us all at once or anything. 
Paimon, you're an open book with everything you say. <laughs> I understand. Don't worry. I will compensate you both. Don't say that. I only escaped this predicament because of you. I'm Meng Dan, a supplier for Mingxing Jewelry in Liue Harbor. I often walk around these mountains in search of antiques. I never expected that those treasure hoarders would have their eyes on the same ruins that I had. Before I knew it, they'd caught and imprisoned me. Is there anything that you lack? Uh, antiques, treasure, various knickknacks, you name it. Well, as long as you want what I have to offer, of course. Your goodwill is good enough for me, but Paimon's probably gonna beg you for something for her recipe. Wait a moment. Actually, we are looking for something. Oh? And what might that be? Do you have a box that can store presents? We'd like a pretty one. The kind that you can use to store snacks. Of course we do. How can one sell antiques without gift boxes? At Mingxing Jewelry, we have the best gift wrapping service in the Seven Nations. Now just give me a moment, and I'll let the boss know. You can go see her whenever you require that box. Great! Paimon Sugar Frosted Slime now comes in a beautiful package! I'm still concerned about your Sugar Frosted Slime. Hey, but at least I get to go back to the safety of Leeway Harbor. Okay, let's go and I'll see you guys at the location in Leeway Harbor. Lucent Crescent's now in stock. Hurry, there are only eight left. Sold out. What? I'm not trying to talk to the post, I'm trying to talk to the lady. Hey there! A guy called Mung Dan told us that we could get a nice and shiny box from your store. Uncle Mung already told me about it. Thank you both for saving him. Many of the best goods in our store were found by Uncle Mung. If anything were to happen to him, it would be impossible for us to continue doing business. Here, hmm. this container is itself an antique, with at least 140 years of history. It's already been cleaned. Will it do? Yep, yep, yep! It's great! Hang on a moment. Could we borrow one other thing? The hell happened to the speech there? It sounded like something from an SFM of TF2 on the YouTube on YouTube. What the hell? Sure. Please help yourselves. As long as it's on our shelves. Traveler, this clay pot looks really awesome. Are you gonna tell me you want that giant clay pot stuffed with your frost sugar frosted slime? If we use an antique as our mixing bowl, we should be able to make a great snack! It's done! The one and only sugar frosted slime! Carefully now, into the box it goes and dust it over with a bit more powdered sugar. Oh yes, you might want to use these two freshly picked flowers as decorations too. Woohoo! It looks beautiful! I mean, it does look appetizing because it kind of reminds me of gelatin, but... Ah. <laughs> yeah, I agree with my character. I'm still not sold on this idea either. I'm afraid of what's going to happen. Great! Now that we've put all that we've got into this box, let's go to the Jade Chamber to see Mingguang. Okay. <laughs> this is... <laughs> I'm scared. <laughs> Sugar frost is slime. Did I actually unlock that as like an actual like recipe now too? Like can I actually make sugar frosted slime? It doesn't actually like do some. Okay, it looks like I have to go up, so I'll see you guys when I get up there. Because climbing in this game's sometimes a bitch. Alright. Ah, oh whoop, whoop. <sighs> I fell into the pot. <laughs> Okay, here we are. Let's see if, uh... Oh, that's how we get to the Jade, uh, chamber. Well, it makes sense, now that I see it. According to Kuching, this is what we should say. Excuse me, do you sell the moon here? Yes. How many would you like? 
It's not convenient to speak of numbers here. Ah, well said. Please, use this to ascend to the chamber. Ah, uh, yes, speaking of which, are you two the guests that Lady Ningguang has arranged to meet with today? Yep. Mm -hmm. And yet the code they used was not the one for guests, but for the Yuang. What's going on here? Oh, uh, did we do a bad? Am I about to get attacked? Mm, I'm worried I'm gonna get attacked or something now. Ooh. Speaking of Ningguang, there's one of the characters I have. Which a lot I've of people for simp you. for. Returnee from Joyen Karst. <gasps> it's Ningguang! Since this is our first meeting, um, we've prepared a gift. I hope you like it. Oh, for me. You have my thanks. It seems that I have made things difficult for you, considering that you were supposed to be my guests. <laughs> oh no, it's nothing. Yeah, nothing. Just been attacked by the guard here and there just because I was investigating and helping people. Nothing serious or anything. Uh... Yeah, I'd say it's my first time coming to a place this high in the sky. This palace floats in the skies, higher than the peak of any mountain. From this vantage point, one may survey all of Liyue. I have been gathering the funds necessary to build it from the time I began learning the merchant's craft. And since becoming the Tianjuan, I have spared no effort in hiring the best craftsmen to constantly extend it. <laughs> At first, it was but the size of one room. Now, it is large enough to blot out the moon in the skies above Liyue. One day, I believe it will overshadow all seven nations. This Tian Kuang does not lack for ambition. Huh. I'll say that is one hell of a dream to have for this place. Not many from outside Liyue earn the right to ascend to the Jade Chamber. But I have been in correspondence with the acting Grand Master of the Knights of Favonius, who spoke highly of you. As such, I have been putting eyes and ears out ever since you reached Liyue. If that's so, then how come you didn't have your eyes and ears tell those guards to not see me as suspicious and attack me? What? And I finally got wind of your movements when you were on the way to Wangshu Inn. Wait, was Ver Goldet one of your people? <laughs> Just Ver Goldet? No. Everyone at Wangshu Inn is one of ours. <laughs> we also ran into Yuang uh, not long ago. Hmm. At the Guizhang Ballista, yes? Uh, you weren't peeking on us from the skies the whole time! Were you? <laughs> I fear that peeking would have been a little difficult from this altitude. Our eyes and ears are more than sufficient. You two are very interesting people, after all. It would be natural to take an interest. Well, I wouldn't expect you to trust us, considering that you have had far more interactions with the Adepti. The reason I invited you here was to clear up some misunderstandings. Okay. What is the misunderstandings about me being suspicious? Oh. oh. Okay. I can see why a lot of people simp about you now. Because literally it's all over the internet. And about other characters too. I believe that you've heard of the Archon War. Uh... Yeah, I say only the broadest of strokes. Many gods used to walk this earth, and many long wars were fought between them that did not abate until 2,000 years ago. Much blood was shed, and many lives were lost. In the end, only seven victors remained standing in Tevat. They built cities and nations on the corpses of the vanquished, and thus began the era of the Seven. 
You can see Goyun Stone Forest from here, I trust. It is no natural rock formation. Those are giant spears of rock hurled by Rex Lapis during the war. Beneath the spears lie those cast down by Rex Lapis in those days, gods that failed to seize the title of Archon. Hmm. Not only is it true that gods may die, but so too has the membership of the Seven changed over the last two millennia. Rex Lapis's passing is an unimaginable disaster for Liyue, but the Order of the Seven will not collapse simply because of that. Another Lord of Geo will arise sooner or later. Yet, how are we to forget Rex Lapis? When that time comes, the relationship between the people of Liyue and the gods and Adepti will surely be different from before. Even in a new era, the Liyue Qixing remain Rex Lapis's former subjects. Do you really think us capable of having played a part in his demise? Of lacking the foresight to see the certain repercussions? I'm actually curious what my character thinks, too. Why hide the Exuvia, then? <laughs> that day at Yujing Terrace, it was also very sudden. Even I was caught completely off guard. You were there. You no doubt saw. Yeah, I saw. And then I saw your guards call me out to suspicion. But our enemy has long lain hidden within the harbor. If we do not act against them now... They will surely gain the upper hand. Hiding the Exuvia was a necessary maneuver to take the initiative back. To play the spider while our foes scurry about. Who's this enemy you're talking about? What do you think, Traveler? It's him, isn't it? Huh? What are you two talking about? Well answered. Uh, huh? Huh, <sighs> the scenery out here is fine indeed, but the wind is a little strong. Our preparations to receive guests within are complete, so please, this way. Okay. And the following I shall go to see these preparations. Enter the Jade Chamber. I'm actually curious to see what it looks like inside. Wowee! What a huge hall! Paimon's never seen such a fancy place before. Ah, uh, this has the same type of, like, inner feeling and serenity that I would- uh, that I always love seeing in, in like, restaurants around here because there is like some Chinese food restaurants and other oriental uh, food restaurants around where I live although they don't all compare it to this type of feel but they do have some similar things like this place shows and I love it oh hold on something's on your table uh, I want this Wait, scale. Though mountains may be raised and the grounds beneath our feet crumble, never may the contract change. For it alone is the bedrock on which Mount Ti Hing stands, firm against the tides of ingenious machinations. Interesting. A nearly stacked pile of scrolls. Each sheet of paper is as thin as an insect's wing. Perhaps these are just calligraphy works? Paper being that thin. Oh, okay. Be at ease, you two. Make yourselves at home if you wish. <sighs> My nose was itchy! Can we really? <clears throat> I have invited you two here as friends. And when friends come over to play, our enjoyment comes first. Naturally. Is that what I think it is? What? Ooh, isn't this that legendary wall? Why, you've kept your ear to the ground, I see. That's because even the storytellers are talking about it. Everyone's after a piece of paper from that wall. It's super famous. 
That's because that wall records Leo's secrets. Merchants have always been attracted to secrets. But the secrets of the mercantile world are of no interest to you, are they, Traveler? You're rather special, really, and I think you're quite aware of that. If possible, I'd like to have your trust. But if you were to choose the more trustworthy person between myself and Kuching... Ah... Uh, I don't know. I feel like it would have to be more with Ningguang just because... She seems more, like, informed... And with her wall of secrets, she probably has more knowledge about what's actually going on that maybe she'll have a better lead. Not anything against Kaching, but. Uh. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> You'd pick Kaching? Nah. I had a feeling. Oh, they were both about picking Kaching. I originally thought her a bit too hard headed. With someone of her character on the Chising, I've had some extra messes to clean up behind the scenes. Okay. But after she said those words, the time of the Adepti has long passed. If even the Liyue Chising don't want to face that truth, then what future is there for Liyue? Well, I must say that quite a few of my doubts have been dispelled. I won't deny that Rex Lapis's passing seems advantageous to us. But, for Liyue's sake, we cannot allow ourselves to be shackled by rumors of our usurpation of power. I surmise that the Fatui has a hand in these rumors? Indeed. It seems that you understood what I meant to say from the very beginning. Mm-hmm. I called for the gag order and for the Exuvia to be hidden to temporarily stabilize the situation, and also to prevent something similar to the incident in Mondstadt. With Rex Lapis's death, the Fatui have busied themselves with many clandestine actions beyond their diplomatic remit. As the Tianchuan, one responsible for Liyue, I cannot be too concerned with appearances when opposing them. Allowing the rite of parting to take place was also meant to buy some time for us to take control of Liyue's administration. <sighs> it's exactly as Zhongli said. The Qixing only provided the venue for the rite so they could use us for their own ends. Wait, that's right. Speaking of ends, could I say one other thing? Of course. Paimon's heard that anyone who sends a greeting gift gets a little something in return. So, does that include us? Honestly, if I was there, I would probably lightly bonk her on the side of the head. Because seriously, you're going off topic just to ask about that. You could have waited until after the convo. <laughs> it's alright. I like direct people. Well, we have made quite a bit of trouble for you recently. How about this? You can pick any one object here as you please. And you may take it with you. Yay! Paimon was just waiting for you to say that! Let's see, what should we get? <gasps> one of the sheets on that wall! Why do you want one of those on the wall? Don't look at Paimon like that. One of these sheets of paper will sell for crazy prices, even if it's only as large as Paimon's fingernail. Just imagine how much more a whole untorn sheet would sell for. Let's grab one! The biggest one! Okay, I'll grab one. Let me just grab this first. There you go. Medal of Gems. I want to make sure I grab all the books in this place before I, like, go. Because I don't know if this is going to make me automatically leave. So just give me a second to look around here. Alright, there's no books around here. 
Inspection done. Huh? Well, that was an easy search. The biggest sheet is right up there in the most obvious spot. Let's go with that one. La 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 la. Let's see what's written on it. Huh? There's a place marked with a circle on here. <gasps> oh, could it be treasure? Whatever it is, it better make us filthy rich. Let's see what's written over here. Sigil of permission, something, something, fatui, research, copy. Huh? Aw, oh, that doesn't sound like treasure at all. It had the fatui talked about it and thought about copying something. <gasps> this piece of paper shows that a cheesing spy discovered traces of classified fatui research on the sigil of permission. Oh, Ningguang did say that the Fatui have been up to all kinds of mischief in the shadows of Liyue. Spreading rumors, wanting to get their hands on the Archon's body and whatnot. But research on the sigil of permission? Paimon wonders what they're up to. I'm gonna guess they probably have some intel that we have the sigil of permission, being that we've gotten one in the past. And they're gonna do something that makes that permission null and void to stop us from something. Speaking of which, there's also some connection between you and the Sigil of Permission. Seems there's still more for us to find out. Um. Uh, mm, yeah, it's unfolding a little too perfectly. I don't know if Ningguang was clearly trying to steer us there, but... No, actually, yeah, I'll take a guess. Ningguang, are you steering me? Oh, you really think so? Well, should we not go then? No, what I mean is... Oh, so you're saying that it's precisely because we can't completely trust Ningguang that we should confirm the truth of what she says for ourselves. Speaking of which, where's Ningguang? Where'd you go? Hmm... That's way out of Paimon's league. Paimon thinks she's been nothing but good to us. Mm, anyway, we'll see if you're onto something. Um, before we look for Zhongli at Dihua Marsh, let's go to the place marked out on these papers and see if the Fatui really are up to no good there. Yeah, Ningguang just disappeared. Okay, well, I guess in the next episode, we're going to investigate those areas the Fatui are in and see what they're up to. So, with that being said, thank you all so much for watching. I hope you all enjoyed the video, and if you did, leave a like. And of course, for you new viewers, don't forget to subscribe and ding the bell so that you guys can stay notified of the content that uploads onto my channel. And as always, I'll see you all in the next video. Take care, all you please have a wonderful, safe, and healthy day. Bye, everyone! It's delicious.